Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different in this particular video. I thought it might be kind of fun to just completely get out of character for myself, uh, just for a video, and show you guys some behind the scenes, sort of break the fourth wall type of stuff. Uh, I thought you might show you guys my desktop, uh, just how I organize things, my, my process of keeping uploads going and editing going and all that. And uh, show you some old thumbnails. We're going to go through my uh, my Canva archives, and uh, we might jump into some analytics on YouTube, which I don't typically spend a lot of time looking at. But just kind of just kind of go through it. Just kind of show you guys some behind the scenes stuff. It's probably not going to be super exciting, but you know, if you're curious, then uh, then I hope you enjoy. Let's jump into it. Let's change that back to there. Should be able to see now. Look at that. So this is my desktop. Um, my face is kind of in the way. Up here, we have videos to be recorded. These are just raw projects. Keep them up at the top over here. All of this right here is uh, the Bro Eats Tide Pods project. So if you're wondering how much effort went into that video, these are all scenes, and a lot of these have multiple takes per scene. So, yeah, that's probably gonna turn out to be a pretty short video. I'm guessing it's probably only gonna be three or four minutes long, but I don't know yet. I haven't actually looked at any of the footage or messed around with it at all. We just recorded it. But yeah, it uh, a lot of work went into recording that. I really hope it turns out well. Over here, this is going to be the Horror and Habaneros highlights. Uh, I have copies of all of the videos, so I'm going to have to open those up and uh, chop them up into into delicious little bite-sized pieces. That's going to take hours and hours and hours if I really want to make it pop, which I do. I also need to get uh, a copy of Genesis for, for there. I probably deleted it, but I can always pull it out of my recycle bin. And uh, yeah, these are my completed episodes that I have over here. And then when I have thumbnails ready, I keep you know, the completed video and then the thumbnail. And I'm trying to do one video essentially every day these days, just because I'm, I'm in a really good place. And I think it's it's doable and it's been turning out really well. I just basically record all weekend, just video, 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 video. And then all week I just edit and make thumbnails and do stuff like that. And uh, then we live stream whenever I kind of feel like it and have time. Over here, these are some live stream thumbnails that I keep handy for games that I'm planning on continuing live streaming. And down here we have my intro, my outro, the original projects in case I want to tweak anything or alter anything, and then the uh, the source files for those. Because if you get rid of the source files, you can't alter the project. But yeah. And uh, over here you can see all my games and programs and whatnot. Well, you can't actually see all of them, but yeah, I'm thinking about doing season two of Horror and Habaneros with Outlast. I'm not positive on that yet, but I'm thinking we're going to do that. We might start recording that tomorrow. I'm going to see how I'm feeling. And what else do we have here? Portal. We just started recording Portal today. So we got two episodes of Portal done. And then we also have Portal 2 up here. And I think we're going to play through both games because it's it just sounds plain fun to me. Great games. Anyways, yes, that's, that's my desktop. That's sort of my organizational system. At some point, I want to take my desktop background and add like some little some words up at the top like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday so that I can sort of organize my videos next to the image so that I it, it's probably not necessary but it's just a thought in my head uh, yeah so this is this is Canva this is one of my main resources for making thumbnails um, this is kind of where I bring everything together I also use GIMP a lot it's just a, a free sort of crowdfunded Photoshop. And uh, I make a lot of PNG files in GIMP with clear backgrounds and then just kind of staple them together. But yeah, see, it looks like the first thing I ever had here was the background, the, uh, the channel banner that Acrid Wolf made for me on oh, that old wolf picture. That's just blank. The highlights videos. I think these were like the first 
real thumbnails I ever did. You know, those actually don't look bad for how little I knew. Especially that one. That's still a solid video. <laughs> the first real thumbnails that I got into were for the Dark Mecha Wolf playthrough. Like, I I dabbled just, just a tiny bit, but I wasn't doing thumbnails for, like, every video. And then I was about... We started Season wolf, season 2 of the Dark Mecha Wolf, the ar ar ugh, brain aneurysm, our arcane character. And can we pull these up like this? And I started getting these really cool screenshots of Dark Mecha Wolf with the Holy Moonlit Sword in dark areas. I would just go through and wait. Uh, as I was doing the playthrough, when we would go through dark areas, I would just make sure to transform my weapon a whole bunch, and then I would go through and find the best image. This was one of the, I think, the first one I did. There might have been one more before this without text on it. And then from that one, I got the idea to sort of do this black on white contrast. And I think it came out really, really well. And there's the old channel logo. I used to put those in the corner. And yeah, then I just kind of kept going with it. That one looks good too. Man, these were good thumbnails. I still think the Dark Mecha Wolf thumbnails were some of the best I ever made. This one just pops. This video, Dark Mecha Wolf 10, still gets a decent amount of views. And I think it's just because this thumbnail looks so damn good. What else do we have? Dark Mecha Wolf 11. Quality. Quality. These ones I actually did sort of like a photo shoot. I didn't do these live. I just went to a dark spot in the game and did transform, or not transform attacks, but, you know, glowing attacks towards the camera, and then went in and, oops, took uh, took screenshots. Looks pretty good. Same thing. This was from the same shoot. God, these came out so well. Why am I so bad at it now? <laughs> no, I'm not. I really like my thumbnails, the way they come out these days. And then back when we were doing the theme playthroughs, when we were going through Bloodborne with every weapon. We did, this was the first one we did, the Death Reaper build. That has almost 2,000 views now. Still chugging along. Where's the Frenzy Death Ball build? This was a great thumbnail. This one's over 2,000 views. Still chugging along. That is, I got this screenshot as Amygdala was dying. I turned around and she does this great explosive pattern and I just happen to be in the right spot where it almost looks like blood wings coming off the back. And then with the funny ass looking build that we had, that's just a great thumbnail. And it just goes to show, I think this is my second most viewed video. That could be entirely wrong, but I know it's up there on all my videos. And it just, it looks good just because, of, or it, it's done so well just because of the thumbnail. Thumbnails really go a long, long way. You can have the best video in the world, but if you don't have a good thumbnail, Probably not going to get viewed. What else do we have? You can see here, I'm learning <laughs> the difference between uh, good and bad. So like here, I used to just find PNG images that already had clear backgrounds like this. I didn't cut anything else. I didn't cut anything myself because I didn't know how yet. And this is one of the first times that I learned how, because I knew I wanted to do a picture of Austin with a top hat for the uh, the threaded cane playthrough. But the best one I could find had all this white shit in it. So you can see I cut it out, but there's still some, some rough edges where I did my cuts, because I, di I didn't know how to feather edges yet. But yeah, I think that was the first time I learned how to actually cut myself. <laughs> Emo. <laughs> Not cut myself, but you know, do cuts myself. And from there, I really just started getting into it. <laughs> this was a good one. <laughs> the Lemmy Smash build. <laughs> so I'm fuck? I got a lot of positive feedback about that. I've used this little funny combo since then. The bird saying some fuck. It's always, always gold. I, I try not to overuse it, but... And then here... I made the old channel logo before it got updated when it was still a white background. Uh, yeah, he it, it was it's pretty small on the channel, so you guys might not actually have seen what it is. But yeah, it's actually the 
the wolf that I still use with just a black top hat, not the purple one. And he had like a like a cane in his mouth and of course the monocle which we still use. But I felt like it was one too many things, so I decided to get rid of the cane, go with the top hat that suits the channel aesthetic a little bit more, which has a purple band on it. And then we have the uh, the iconic purple rose that I use for a ton of stuff as the background now. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is just walking down memory lane for me. I don't know if anybody's still watching this, but I sure as heck am liking it. <laughs> First ever Q&A. Oh my gosh. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. I'm looking forward to doing another Q&A. I think we'll do that for the 1,000 subscriber special. That was so fun. The Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Oh, I forgot about this. I put a lot of work into this thumbnail. <laughs> oh man, that hot sauce was fucking hot. <laughs> There's the new thumbnail, or not the new thumbnail, the new uh, channel logo. I don't, I think that might be a little bit tweaked. I think I, I ended up finishing it and exporting it in a different program, not Canva. But yeah, that's essentially it. I just cut this wolf out of an image that I found myself, just his cute little face. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> 420th video. <laughs> now there is an inspired thumbnail. I wonder how this video is doing. I wonder if it still gets views. With a thumbnail like that, it better. <laughs> That's just pure quality. Oh, the four fish smoothie punishment. Oh, that was so gross. If you haven't watched this video yet, when I drank the sardine smoothie, go change that. That was a good quality video. <laughs> I put the the dirty senpai Starbucks girl there. Oh. So good. What else do we have? The happy accident live stream when I was just burying my soul to the camera just venting and I didn't realize that I accidentally hit the live stream button. <laughs> I had to check and make sure I wasn't doing that right now. I'm so much more conscious about it <laughs> since then. <laughs> oh, Not that I'm upset that that happened or anything, but Is this a meme? <laughs> oh, this is the only meme. Oh, I didn't fully get that. You see, there's a little white gap at the top there. That bothers me. That's how it should have been. <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist. <laughs> the horror and habaneros thumbnails, I thought, I still think, are great. I put a ton of time into this thumbnail. And that's why I reused it for the whole series. But I think for season two, I'm going to make a new set of thumbnails. <laughs> Probably with a similar theme, maybe just new a, maybe just a new background. Uh, for the specific game that we're playing, but yeah, tweaking this one is always a bitch because there's just so much on there. That, you know, if I need to move something, it's like I'll move it and then I can't get back to it, and then I have to move two other things to get to it, and then those two things end up behind two other things, and it takes me like ten minutes just to get it back the way that it was. So I don't like fucking with that one. <laughs> Oh, Doki Doki. Oh, that game. That game. I still don't know if I'm going to do season two yet. That episode nine slayed me. Oh. oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That will, that should have really, that will have released by the time you guys see this. It hasn't yet though. Oh. Man. What else do we got? I just made, these are all my current ones up here. This hasn't released yet. This will be releasing tomorrow or on Monday. <laughs> I thought that's, this one turned out great. This is the, the Hogwarts quiz thumbnail. Man, I thought that one turned out really well. <laughs> Bro's debut. Uh, I'm still, I'm not convinced that I love this thumbnail for for the episode. It is good. It is good. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Part of me kind of wants to change this. 
This took forever to do because I had to do each word individually twice and then find colors that you could see when it's shrunk down. I re-tweaked this thumbnail like five different times and each time takes like 10 minutes. So put more work into that one than you'd think. Yeah. Well, anyways, that was fun. Walk down memory lane. Oh, the no fap challenge. This video is doing well. It's still getting views every day, which is nice. I've been trying to do more videos like this. Like I want my videos, a lot of them to be, you know, directly just like this one to just be, you know, directed towards the active community, specifically you guys. But I'm trying to do videos that are more directed towards the internet overall, not just directed at my community so that, you know, they can kind of bring in new people. And I, I've been trying to get my head around that for a while. And I think I'm doing it like it's a lot about the thumbnail and uh, how you do the opener. And I think I'm getting it. Whoa! Hey, come back. <laughs> Man, what a trip. What a trip. All right, let's close Canva. Let's look at some analytics. If you don't know, YouTube has a pretty detailed analytics page where you can look at a lot of, lot of stuff having to do with your channel. I mean, people make careers out of this, so it's not really for people like me, but <laughs> one day it will be. End screens, what is this? Cards, no, come on. Let's look at comments. So we got on 7-4, it's 7-7 seven, seven today, 2018. We got 1,094 comments. You can tell that's a live stream day because the number is so high. The day before, we got four. <laughs> and I think you can back this up really far if you want to. So we're all the way back in. Let's just go back to the start of 2017 and see what it looks like. So that's 2017 right there. And this is halfway through 2018 over here. So the best day of comments we've had ever was 2,710. And I remember that day. That was the day that we killed Lawrence. I never used to kill Lawrence. I still rarely kill Lawrence. Killed Lawrence in the DLC using the bow only, if I recall. And it took forever and it was a crazy busy live stream. And I remember Cass was just talking up a storm. Like half of those comments were her. But that's cool. 20? I'm kind of shocked that we haven't beat it. I mean, we're still doing good. Like, we had a day about a month ago with almost 1,700 comments. Oh yeah, look at that. It was New Game Plus 22 with DLC preparing for challenge run. Right. I was practicing with the bow and trying to get, I was still leveling up my blood tinge at that point because I was planning on doing a bow only run, which turned out to be pretty damn easy actually. The bow was really good, but I didn't know that yet. Let's see, likes and dislikes. Whoa, okay. Hmm. Kratom equals anxiety and depression. Yep. Been thinking about removing this video. I don't know if I like it. It doesn't reflect my best work. I think a lot of the dislikes just come from people not liking it when people trash Kratom on the internet. They're just like, hey, I take this drug. Don't say it's bad. But I have a couple videos on my channel that I'm not sure reflect my best work that I might be removing. I don't know. I keep thinking about it. It keeps coming back up, so maybe I just should just do it. Oh, and then my best video ever in terms of, like, views and likes and everything. 875. We're almost at 1,000 likes on the best farming root and bloodborne video. That's almost to 100,000 views, too. I wonder if that video will ever stop getting views. I wonder... 66 likes in one day. Wow. Are we still... Yep. Okay, so that's 2017. This is 2018. So my best day for likes was January, February, March 20th of this year. I got 66 likes in one day. Later that week, 57. And recently, 20, 31. 
pretty good. I'm happy with that. Wow. This is, this is crazy. It's cool that YouTube tracks all this stuff, though. It's fun to see. Oh, I remember that live stream. 25 subscribers in one night. I never pull in numbers like that. That was so cool. That was... We were pushing for 700. We're at, like, 775 right now. So that was that was a pretty recent one. But yeah, we gained 25 live uh, subscribers in, like, one live stream. It was, like, three and a half hours. So that's... Six or like six subscribers per hour, or something like that, which is way more than my average. I average like one to two typically subscribers per hour live streaming. Subscribers, yeah, huh? Live streaming, what is this? Uh, that's not interesting. Watch time, Ooh. in the past year and a half whoa people have spent one year and 125 days collectively watching my content that's a trip whoa that's a trip one year and 125 days watching my content holy shit and that's probably not even a particularly good number I can't imagine what that's going to be like years from now. 150,000 views. Meh. I'm happy. Could be better. Yep, best farming route. Sitting way above everybody else at almost 90,000 views. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, alright, well... Yeah, I'd show you guys more analytics, but uh, I don't think any of this stuff is really that interesting. I don't have ads or revenue or anything like that currently because I'm not a YouTube partner, but yeah, I uh, I just kind of wanted to do this with you guys. I hope it was a fun, interesting video for you, uh, even if it was kind of boring. I know this wasn't for everybody, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes and just chill out and go through it myself and remember... Remember how far we've come. It has been two and a half years. It doesn't feel like it for me a lot of the times. A lot of the times I'm, I feel like, you know, I just started. And then I'm like, whoa, I've actually been doing this a while. And I've come a long way. And it feels good, man. It feels good. I love your faces. Beard heart. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.